Hello everybody, thanks for looking at my video. Uh, I'm going to show you today my tone arm that uh, is a DIY effort. Took me about six months to make, uh, just on my little lathe. Um, I finally got it finished and it seems to work pretty well. I thought you might be interested to see it. It's made primarily of aluminium and stainless steel. Has a brass vertical shaft with uh, 10 millimeter by 5 millimeter ball race bearings and also the same in the horizontal you can't see them they're very small they're inside the central hub so it's very hard to show you but it does work rather well as I said primarily aluminium the arm wand is stainless steel and I've got a very very light head shell uh, with a clear audio Aurum Alpha cartridge which seems to suit it rather well. The only things I haven't made are the bearings, the cartridge and the Q which is a borrow from a Grace 707 arm. It works rather well. I can raise and lower the height by a locking ring collar and the stainless steel counterweight can be moved back and forward. There are no graduations, I just use a separate gauge to set the weight of the cartridge. It does work rather well and I've made it so that I think it looks good and uh, I hope you think so too. This is in a bedroom system on a turntable that I made myself which you've probably seen in another one of my videos. The amplifier I'm running into it is the Quad 44 preamp and 306 power amp and I use this system for headphones so you can see these stacks Lambda headphones. Okay I'll just try and prove now that it actually does work. I'll put the camera down carefully and get a record and put it on. That's a weight that I made myself, made of stainless steel and plastic. This is a headphone system so there's not much point showing you that it what it sounds like but I do compare it to my other high-end tone arms and be perfectly honest it works pretty well I have no complaints and I'm more than happy to use it another feature that I didn't point out initially was a bias compensating weight mechanism which gives me the perfect anti-skate that I want. The wiring is silver plated copper and it runs all the way back to the RCA cables which I've prepared as you can see. I've used stainless steel braided outer cabling and the wires run from the cartridge directly back to the amplifier. And there's my tone arm. I hope you like it.